I've seen no good people turn their heads each day So satisfied, I'm on my way Okay, Roxanne, I have a question about uh, the, let's say, usage of the nature of um, children who are uh, born and they want to learn things. And what do you think uh, breaks them to uh, get so um, static in their point of view? Well, children from an early age are not introduced to science or technology or how we relate to one another or or nature. Children are given arbitrary artificial notions, they're given fairy tales, they're given especially women, little girls, they're given notions of romanticism and somebody coming to take care of them, you know, the prince and the the princess and they're they're given so many artificial things that they pump in their heads the Mickey Mouse Club and after they fill their heads with all these lies then they expect them to think critically. They have no way of thinking critically. So it's really detrimental. Kids want to know everything. They want to know how, how trees grow and how things work and just like little boys want to know about mechanics and trucks and things Little girls want to know that too. Instead, they're given dolls that are inanimate objects, you know, when, when little boys get trains. So they have a different start from the very beginning. Their patterns are different from the very beginning, what they're able to explore, which is detrimental to women more so. So men become more inventive, not because they're men and women can't do that. It's just that their range is less when they're very young, what they can explore and what they can do. So. It, it's very hard to take kids after they've already been indoctrinated. They're not, even as they get older, they're not taught how to crit think critically. They're, everything is segmented. Science is one discipline and the arts is another discipline and they're not taught how they interact with one another and how they're similar. So you have all these different disciplines that can't even talk to one another. And um, it gets very difficult to be able to have an understanding of the world and how it works and where we can go when you make everybody regimented in their own little discipline. That's how you can abuse people by m enabling them to make bombs because they only know they get a kick out of rocketry or, or making th something more destructive. Instead of asking why are we making the bombs, what is it for, how, why can't we solve our differences without violence, that's above and beyond their scope because they leave that to the politicians thinking that they know how to do that and they don't at all. So from the very beginning you're given nonsense and it carries through to the rest of education. You're taught to be a cog in the wheel without being able to think so all you do is get a job and even after you retire it's very difficult for people. Most of them just die because they have no other interests. They can't afford and to, to dream. You know that saying they dare not dream because they can't do the things they want to do because they don't have the money to do that. So the monetary system flattens things out tremendously. Yeah, for sure. So uh, one of the major problems seems to be that everybody uh, takes his um, experiences and uh, says that this is right and he combines it to the things that he was told. But uh, many things of, of these uh, stories or and, 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 and so on are uh, were lies, just like Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. right. And so you have you 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 believe in some kind of magic, but this is some kind of a manipulation. So um, well, it, it primes children, especially little girls, to go into mysticism and and um, metaphysics instead of understanding the nature of the world, how things work, you know, why, how, we, how we behave the way they do, why, how we behave the way we do. And they don't want people to be that critical or that wise. You know, in the old days, they didn't want their slaves to learn how to read because they couldn't manipulate them. Same thing today. If they're, learned how to, if they're taught how to think critically and question what's happening, then they can't control them, they can't get people to go fight their wars. And 
all of the thinking in their behavior is manipulated. They don't know it. They think that they have free will and they have individuality, but from an early age, they were pumped with things that don't enable them to think. They're pumped with things that, you know, the whole system is created and the values and behavior of the system is generated by just a few, those people in position of differential advantage that have the money to bribe and persuade politicians to make laws in their own self-interest. These people also, the military, the church in many instances, the banks and the corporations, they determine your values and behavior because they influence the books you read, the TV that you see, the newspapers, the magazines, they influence the schooling to get jobs to serve their self-interests. They influence the entertainment. You keep people entertained. You, you send them to work five days a week and then on the weekend on Saturday they have to take care of home life and laundry and then on Sunday they go to the football field so that their, their head is left empty. They, they can't read books that help them to look at, look at the world and understand why things are the way they are. They have to read books that give them a higher standard of living so they can get up in the world in, in money, in the, in the monetary system. If you read the, you know, things like tyranny of words or um, the nature of the monetary system, this doesn't help you make a living. This doesn't help you in your job. So it's a luxury to understand those things. So, you know, it's very difficult, then people, then they say, think for yourself, but they've already pumped things in, your values and your behavior, to serve their self-interests. And it's already an established system, and they want to keep things as they are.